Hey everyone, I want to show you one of the fastest ways that we can set up an API endpoint. Let's jump right in. So there's two parts to setting up an API. One, we have to code the logic, and two, we have to host it. We can do both of these things very quickly using WayScriptX. And if you want to check it out, the link for WayScriptX is in the description. What we can do, once we jump into WayScriptX, we can create something called a layer. And all a layer is, is a pre-configured environment that we can put stuff into. We'll say simple, API demo for YouTube. And then I'll click on create. Once our layer loads, we have access to a file browser, a terminal, process tab, and an IDE. So let's get started creating the logic and then we'll worry about hosting it. To create logic for an API, we can say new file and then we'll say API logic.py. We'll code this out with Python. We have a Python library called WayScript that we can import functionality from. Once we have that import, we can code in whatever logic we want. Right now, we just have a static response of our payload, but we could put in whatever we wanted. I'll leave that up to you, so I will keep this as is. And now in our HTTP trigger, we can send that response using these keyword arguments. So we have our logic behind our API. Now, very quickly, let's jump over to the dot triggers file, and then we'll choose new trigger. In this example, since we're creating an API, we can use an HTTP trigger. And all that this does is give us an endpoint. And when a user goes to that endpoint, what happens is the execution of this command. Our command just needs to be the execution of a Python script. Awesome. And that's all it takes to host your API. So you get this endpoint that runs this logic and returns the response that you denote in your Python script. So let's test it out. We'll just go to that endpoint. And we should see that hello world API response. Once this loads, we see that we get our response back. And it's as simple as that to set up an API using WayScriptX. Like I said, the link for this service is in the description below. So be sure to check it out. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know that too, and we'll help you out. Until next time.